what we're trying to do here is to illustrate something, that there's a wide range uh, of folks that have a wide range of abilities and challenges within uh, our community. Of course, back then, we, they didn't know before I was born that I had spina bifida. And so, I could, this is typical of my mother. She said that after, right after I was born, they put her in a private room and she kept telling the nurses, we can't afford a private room. She was also told by one of the doctors that if I live, if I was lucky to live by the age of three, that I probably wouldn't be able to be need around the clock, 24 hours, seven days a week care. Um, and that was a big shock to the family uh, and to her because they didn't know what to do. They were lost. You know, the, the, go to a lot of meetings. It's, it's been a lot of time traveling, going around to meetings. And one of the best things about a meeting like this one is that it is, it is, is focused on a particular condition and it is uh, experts of all disciplines coming together to work on problems that affect one population of people and it, it, it leads to some outstanding collaborations. Um, people in rooms together who wouldn't usually be together. You know, I'm a neurosurgeon and I'm, I'm here with urologists and orthopedic surgeons and rehab uh, medicine uh, physicians. Uh, all of us thinking about the same problems together makes for a lot of, uh, of outstanding uh, collaboration and opportunities. And What's more amazing is that stuff like that came out of this conference, like the healthcare guidelines and all the doctors that put in abstracts, is that it's helping that the population that they serve. So when we have conference, when they put together their education programs, all of this is what's fueling that, and it's benefiting so many people on a daily basis. Um, and like SBA is an organization, I just hope they they truly understand how much they impact the lives of people with spinal bifida.